hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl by a party heaven welcome back to another creation with me oh guys i've never done an halloween thing kind of design before so this is my first and i hope you like what you see i hope it looks really nice enough so join me in this journey so the balloons i'm using are mainly six 17 inches by um, tough text bont orange stone and black and then i added four balloons onto it so let's get into inflating the balloons right inflation time so what i did with the stone was that i double stuffed them because i didn't like the the, the opaque look you know when you double stuff it gives that very rich lovely kind of look so that was why i double stuffed the stone and then for the 16 inches sorry 17 inches bond orange i double stuffed them too um i didn't have to double stuff the 11 inches because i was using most of the 17 inches anyway so there was no need for me to really like double stuff the 11 inches and for the black ones i didn't even double stuff at all if i was going to use the black one in uh an, an outdoor kind of setting i would double stuff for it to last so next thing is i'm inflating my orbs remember your orbs you have to inflate it till you have no creases it has to be really smooth at every side that is the correct way to inflate the orbs with this orb skeleton her head i am going to be creating like a skeleton kind of body so i used five inches balloon inflated into three inches for the neck area i'm going to be doing four of that and i'm going to be attaching it to the head of the skeleton this is going to be like the basis of my design um after i've done that i'm going to get 350 balloons that's what i'm doing i'm getting 350 balloons i need eight of it to make the body and the legs of the skeleton i'm not going to be making feet for this skeleton it, there's no need because i'm going to be you know arranging it with my design just to you know give that different look into the design guys i'm going to be honest with you this design was just a random kind of thought it just came to me and i just kept on creating i hope it looks as nice as i envisioned it to look so you get the 350 you've inflated um try and like you know shape the elbow part and then create the anpar by doing a pinch twist like i am doing here before i go further into the video guys if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for this channel will give you everything you need to start to get on as a balloon artist and so also when it comes to pricing i've got a pricing video that will give you all the details you need into you know when you need to price your balloon work after you've done the ants the next thing you're going to do is to create the legs um so it's just four 350 balloons if you don't have 350 you can use 260 q2 um the 350 was more like i thought he, he, he was you know he, he, he had more bulk to it so that's why i've used 350 q for this design so just tie and wrap and then put it around the neck you have created And after you've done that, the next thing you're going to do the legs, which is another set of four. Inflate the 350 almost to the end. And then you tie off. Once you've inflated, you wrap the four together, tie it, wrap it together. And then, you know, you have a cord. Um, so also guys, if you think this video is too fast for you to grasp what I'm doing, you could actually slow down the video. You, um, you could slow it down. You could pause and watch and you know, yeah, because the reason why I make it this fast is so you don't get bored, you know, watching everything. You might not want all the details. Uh, so yeah, just, um, slow it down and it will be fine. So my skeleton body is ready. So balloons are ready. Now we put everything on the frame. So I start off with my my skeleton. If I was going to do this on a normal basis, I think I would make the skeleton quite um, I fill out the body parts more. 
Let's go. So next, I wrap the skeleton body to the end of the frame because that is where I base off my, my design from, basically. Next, I grab two sets of 16, 17 inches, 11 inches, and then I wrap it to the bottom. So I like my bottom to start off with the bigger balloons. So I build the bottom to look the way I want it to look from, you know, putting the bigger balloons, starting off and making sure I incorporate all the colors I am using. So if I was using three colors, like I am doing here, I'll make sure that every element of the three colors is at the bottom. But with this design, because I didn't want the stone to feature for too much, I did not do, you know, I didn't add too much of the stone to the bottom. Now, another thing I noticed about this design was the fact that I just kept, you know, arranging the balloons. I wasn't looking at what I was doing um, and everything just came together still. Like the colors were like, they were still, you, you would see when you look at the picture of the balloon at the end, you would see that the, the colors just aligned kind of, you could see the end result at the end. Um, so all you just need to do is just tap into your own personal creativity. You don't have to create it the way I've just done. Just arrange it as it comes to your head. Like I always say, do not overthink it. You will do fine. Do not think, oh, because this person did it this way, I have to do it that way. Do your own thing. And I promise it would come out in perfection at the end of the day, except you do not have a flair for it. But if you do love what you're doing, you have a flair for it, you have that creativity bit in you, you will be absolutely fine. So using 260Q, I just kept on attaching the clusters. So you would see that I'm attaching clusters of four. For the 11 inches, I didn't use 17 inches. I just used, sorry, the black, not the 11 inches. For the black, I didn't use any 17 inches. I only used 11 inches. So to have like that definition in the design, so a bit of 11 inches, then the orange and the stone, especially the stone, I didn't have 11 inches of stone. So it worked out well for me. You will see that the clusters of four of the bonds arranged in smaller clusters is what I'm using for the upper part. Yeah. You want to, like I mentioned earlier, I like having the bigger balloons from the bottom. Yes. In midway, I would add a bit of the bigger, um, the bigger balloons, but for the top area to create kind of a kind of balance to the eyes, um, I make sure the smaller balloons, which is like the 11 inches or the 17 inches have been underinflated into a smaller balloons. I make sure they go towards the top to finish off the balance. You don't want to have two big balloons at the bottom and then you have big balloons again at the top. Try and always, always finish the top part with the smaller clusters, which is the smaller clusters of 11 inches like I am doing here. Remember, if you have any questions in regards to any of my designs, always drop a comment in the comment section. I respond. If I don't respond immediately, I would respond as soon as I can. Um, you could also send me a DM on Instagram at Blues by Party Heaven. I would respond to you there. So watch how I do my base here. So, you know, I've done the initial first cluster. So the next thing is I'm adding the next set of clusters. That is how I do my base. And that is how I make sure the bottom area is sitting down. I use a mix of the big balloons and a mix of the smaller balloons. And again, create that, you know, that definition in your design. Guys, another thing I need you to note here, when you're doing your base, to create that tight kind of look, please make sure 
you wrap in your 260Q into the balloons that are already there. That tightens the old display and gives it that finished look you want it to have. Here I'm adding my five inches balloons now and my foil balloons. With this bit, you don't have to follow what I've done. Just be creative. Add your foil balloons into spots you think they would stand out. For the eye balloon, when you inflate them, make sure you pull it back so that the eye bit can really show. So you inflate and you press it down before you tie it off. So the eyeball part comes out, you know, just don't inflate and just tie it off and leave it like that. Make sure you pull it back. Here, I'm just using new glue dash to attach my four balloons to where I want it to be. And I am attaching my five inches balloons to spots I want them to be. I didn't have five inches uh, burnt orange for this design. So what I did was I under inflated some of the 11 inches and I broke them into four pieces to create my five inches. If you want to see how I did that, I've got a load of videos showing how I break one balloon into multiple clusters. The max you can go with an 11 inches is I think five or so. Um, I've always, I also used it to create flowers before. It's a great thing to know how to do. To attach my five inches, I always make sure I, most of the time, I do not use 260Q to attach my five inches. I just use the neck of the balloons, you know, the bigger balloons that are there already. And I pull it around the neck of the cluster of five inches I want to attach and it stays in place. So that is what I do every time. I do not use the 260Q every time. But if I find out that the neck I'm trying to reach is far from me, then I would cut a 260Q into two and I would tie it round the balloon. I want it, you know, I want it to look just like I'm doing right now. You know, I use the 260Q to attach that bit. Guys, I know this is a very long video <laughs> compared to, the, you know, the length of videos I've been putting out in recent times. But honestly, videos like this are always packed with so much information and I do not believe in short videos. What's the point of doing a short video when you can't get, you know, maximum quality from it? Um, if you like my long videos, please let me know in the comments section so that I can do more of that. Um, and for those that like short videos, I'll just make them into shorts and hopefully you can gain from that aspect too so add your big foil balloons to different spots that would make them you know each element has to stand out like the pumpkin is standing on its own the bat is standing on its own the boo is standing on, you know just go with the flow okay guys i hope you enjoyed what you know creating this design with me if you have any questions let me know in the comments section um 
my first Halloween proper garland design and I loved the you know end result it looks absolutely beautiful to me I hope you think so too uh, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you same time next week bye